Hey all you hydroponic growers, there's a big rumor out there that the run to waste irrigation setup is, a, is just that, a big waste of money, a big waste of water, and a big waste of all those expensive nutrients that we go to our local hydroponic store and buy. I'm going to give you a few points today that might change your mind, so stay tuned for another episode of No Fail Hydroponics. Hey YouTubers, this is Ape again. Welcome to another edition of No Fail Hydroponics. Today I want to talk about uh, the run to waste system. Okay, a run to waste irrigation system and how it differs from what most of you are probably using the um, recirculating method where you're reusing your nutrient. Today we're going to talk about run to waste and I just want to throw out a few benefits um, that I see are strong positives for uh, running a run to waste setup and you know after I give out some information you may find that running a run to waste system for you um, will take you, your garden to the next level in the terms of quality and yield so let's get to it first of all um, pH and if you're gonna be subscribing to me uh, this channel you're gonna find I talk a lot about pH what I find beneficial about a run to waste setup is its effect on pH First of all, when we run a run to waste, we're going to usually mix our uh, nutrients fresh in a reservoir to be released to our plants via some kind of tubing and eventually to a drip, drip emitter or some type of uh, plant stake. Um, or a uh, run to waste could simply be meaning that we're going we're gonna to mix our nutrients and we're going to water by hand. And uh, what we find out is because the nutrients are made fresh, Right there on the spot, um, the, the pH, you know, pH is always going to be in a perfect range because I'm assuming most of you are going to mix your, your, your nutrients like you should and then pH balance it um, immediately right there as you're supposed to. So we always know in hydroponics we're talking about bringing it down, our nutrient solution down uh, to 5.5 or 5.8 and in soil it's going to be somewhere between uh, around 6.2 to 6.5. Is where it should be to start so um, I'm assuming that's what you're doing every time you um, get your nutrients going so as we feed right then and there um, our plants are going to get um, nutrient solution that's already in the perfect zone especially in hydroponics 5.5 to 5.8 right then and there boom our plants are going to get perfect pH meaning it's going to be able to, our plants gonna be able to take up as much element nutrients and elements as possible um, with having our um, nutrient solution in the sweet zone, the perfect area for pH. Now, um, how that differs from a recirculating system. In a recirculating system, uh, you're going to mix it fresh and then, and then feed your plants. Uh, rely on your, your pump to feed the plants. And it's going to be good in the beginning. It's going to be in that sweet zone. But after so many days of running your pump, uh, two, three, four, five, even up to ten times a day, that nutrient solution is going to change its pH. And where it, get, where it causes problems, those of you that are lazy, that wait uh, much longer than you need to, and what happens is that pH gets out of range. It gets above 6.0, 6.2 in hydroponics, and um, your plants aren't able to absorb the correct nutrients um, that it needs uh, for healthy, lush growth. So I find that um, by using a run to waste, many gardeners, um, it gets them out of that problem zone um, because the water isn't, the nutrients isn't, aren't sitting around for a long time. It, it's almost like a self-correct me mechanism. You do a run to waste, you feed your plants whenever you're ready, and the pH is, is good to go. It never gets a chance to drift out of the sweet zone. So um, that's one benefit. Let's talk about PPM and EC. Um, <clears throat> when we mix our newts fresh like we do in a run to waste setup uh, and we adjust the we use all of our nutrients all of our additives and we're going to find that our PPM is at its strongest um, I preferably like my PPMs to start before I use any additional additives I like my base nutrient to be 5 point uh, I'm sorry somewhere between 850 and 
950 ppm. That's part per, parts per million. Um, and those of you that use EC, you'll just have to convert those numbers. But if we mix fresh, again, uh, we can water by hand or we can have it delivered to our plants uh, via drip emitters, uh, some kind of uh, irrigation system when we do a run to waste. But what we find is we, we feed our plants right then and there. Um, there is no recirculating and our, our nutrient solution is at full octane when it hits our plants. Full octane, um, full potency, full strength, allowing our plants to once again um, take advantage of this and grow at their fastest rate, uh, meanwhile getting all the uh, nutrients and elements required for, for uh, the best growth. Now when you look at the two, you've got your pH in the perfect zone and you have your PPM and your EC in the, in the perfect zone. Those two combinations um, alone combined together are gonna give you luscious growth two to four inches a day in vegetation and in the vegetative process and give you big, healthy, sticky flowers in, in the flowering process. But the word on the street is that when you do a run to waste, you're wasting a bunch of water. I mean, that's the first question I get. They say, hey, hey, don't I just waste a bunch of uh, nutrients? I'm gonna, you know, this gonna go right down the drain. Uh, don't I save money and water by recirculating it? Well, what I found over time is that's not necessarily true. You might think that in the beginning, but in the run to waste, we're gonna we're gonna feed our nutrients to our plants, our nutrient solution to our plants, and give it to them just as it starts to drain out of the bottom. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pull we're gonna pull out watering by hand, um, and if we have some kind of timer, we're gonna use uh, preferably some sort of digital timer that's gonna be on just long enough to let our nutrients again just barely drip out of the bottom meanwhile the rest of the nutrients that we have are going to be held back um, for the next use or we're going to re-up and make a fresh batch uh, in in a recirculating system we generally have a 40 gallon 60 gallon 80 gallon 125 gallon reservoir and we fill it uh, with a bunch of nutrients we fill it with a bunch of um, additives and we let it run for a week or two. When it gets low, we fill it back up with water. We get lazy. Um, and then when it comes two to three weeks later, uh, we take whatever's left, 40 gallons, 60 gallons, 120 gallons worth of water, and we dump that out. Whether we run a tube and run it down the toilet, through the shower, we grab five gallon Home Depot buckets and we throw it in the backyard. So you tell me, where do you think it, all the waste is coming from? So. I'm going to tell you just from what I do and what I uh, advise my clients and the people that I consult, I've found that for me, doing a run, run to waste took my garden to the next level. I already thought I was pretty good. I already thought that my, my quality was extremely high. I found that doing a run to waste gave me not only a slightly larger yield, but kept my plants in the zone. Um, for pH and uh, nutrient strength measured in PPMs um, to where um, I didn't, it, it just fit better into to my gardening system. Can you run a good garden in a recirculating system? Yes, but you get into trouble where you're lazy. So if you find you're one of those gardeners that you get behind on pH or you get a little lazy and oh, I'm gonna go do it tomorrow and then tomorrow turns into another day or two, you might wanna consider doing a run to waste because I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna take your garden to the next level. And there's many of you that want to do well in this hobby and you keep banging your heads, uh, maybe changing the way you irrigate your indoor hydroponic garden um, can take you to the next level. I've seen many rookies who could never get recirculating right, switch to hand feeding, run to waste, or um, uh, hand feeding with some kind of drip irrigation, I'm sorry, run to waste with some kind of drip irrigation and it eliminated some of the things out of the routine that was causing them failure. So, please consider this. They both work, but maybe it's time for you guys that are failing to look for a different alternative, and Run to Waste might be that for you. So, I'm gonna, that's going to wrap it up, my talk today on Run to Waste. Um, I do want to spend a second, I want to say, um, I want to give you some real talk, folks out there. 
This hobby is wonderful. If you like working with plants, you love indoor gardening, you love the whole concept of being Mother Nature, I'm going to give you some real talk on this channel. I'm going to give you some time-proven methods to take your garden to the next level. There's a lot of fluff out there, whether you're in the hydroponic stores, you're getting information from YouTube, or if you're in some of the forums. Um, you're going to get a lot of fluff, and some of that information is hard to, to filter through to get the right information. If you want real talk and you want real results, come check me out. Okay, Make sure you, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. But ultimately, if you know someone that can benefit from my information, whether it's you, a friend, or somebody that you're partnering up with, have them check me out. Okay, I can help all of you. So um, if you have anything you want me to address, be, make sure you, uh, you email me directly. Um, the Hydroponic Ape at gmail.com. Also, make sure you check out our websites, hydroponicnutrientreview.com and hydroponicsystembuilder.com. And I'll have links for all that stuff at the end of this video. But folks, I can help you take your garden to the next level. So until next time, this is Ape checking out. And you guys be safe out there. Have a great day. And bye. Be sure to like our videos, subscribe, and share them with a friend. Thank you.